When I heard that there are homes in Michigan that you can buy for $3,000, I knew I had to have one. What I found were homes that had been stripped to bare shells and homes with trees growing out of their tops. That's why when I found a place on a decent drive in relatively okay condition, I was thrilled that all the house was missing were the doors. The four-bedroom, three-bath house was amazing compared to what I had seen. Running water, working electrical, nice hardwood floors, no mold, no rot. Someone must have taken all the doors very recently, even the front and back ones, and nothing else, not even the copper handles and taps. I waited for the real estate agency to send someone out for the official show. I was expecting someone in a real estate-owned graphic-wrapped car and a friendly smile. What I got was the world's most filthy van, driven by the world's sketchiest, skeeziest, and skitziest driver, creaking to a stop right in front of me. A woman rushed up from within and pushed her face against the glass of the van's side windows. It was hard to hear her, but I think she said, over there all the time, and they said they lost a man, and Johnny never lost a man because Johnny went to war and brought men back, but they looked, and they lost that man, they looked up and down and up and down, and they couldn't find him, and they knew he was there, but he wasn't, because he put doors up, same as Sam, she went into one and... I tried to dismiss this crazy lady with a small wave. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Doors! Johnny went into the back room to talk to Lori, who went through the kitchen to get to the room. Both lost! And Johnny, and Johnny never lost anyone! The doors! Deep! The driver seemed to panic and took off with a screech as a new real estate-owned graphic-wrapped car pulled to a stop with the paperwork and deed to the house. I didn't let one old burnout's bad trip story scare me. The area was cheap enough for me to rent a room in for a bit while I arranged for a contractor to come and put the doors on. All of the well-established and more reputable firms in the area wouldn't even stay on the phone as soon as I said my address. One was kind enough to laugh and stay on long enough to ask, You must be from out state, hearing about one of those cheap houses, eh? That's where where those kids went missing a while back. Well, twenty-year-olds. Everyone sees him go into one of the rooms, nobody sees them leave. Some folks been trying to move in there for at least the past decade, but most leave not long after. Seen the police there a few times. If I were you, I would unload it to the next sucker and get out. It's cheap for a reason. But that man knew I didn't have it in me to just walk away based on rumors. I hired a group outside of the state to install 16 doors at a premium, including pantry, closet, and pull doors to the attic. They estimated two weeks, the universal standard for all remolding jobs. I got a call from the on-site super brand two days later to tell me he and his crew are pulling out and issuing a credit, without legitimate reason. They sounded spooked and only said they refused to go into the back room, without legitimate reason. I raced back to the house hoping to catch them still there to ask what was going on. I was happy to see their work truck still here, but the men were not in the house. I decided to check the back room to see what was wrong with it. The back room was the only one near the back door, a strange offshoot that had its own bathroom, a washer and dryer and two couches crowded with old rag dolls that the former owners left. The men hadn't installed any doors except for the front and back doors, and ones on the back room. The only thing out of place in the back room, other than the creepy rag dolls, was Bran's cell phone still open with only 4% life left, enough for me to see it had tried to make 350 calls in two hours. They recorded 15 minutes of videos broken up into two to three minute segments. I watched the longest of the videos first. It was shaky hand camera video that showed my backroom door opening to my hallway, but a little different. The wall lights were in the wrong spot. Bran opened and shut the backroom door again to show a completely different room, the upstairs bathroom, before coming to the hallway again. Someone asked something in Spanish, and the cameraman answered, Yay, the rooms are different each time we shut the door. I'm just getting the video of this craziest thing ever. They walked to the front door, and cameraman told a worker to abra la puerta, and one of them opened the door. 
The video showed the front door opening to the back room. They laughed, shut the front door, and opened it again. It was still the back room. Bran returned to the back room and opened that door and saw that it now opened to the guest bedroom. Their laughs were weakened with fear. The video bobbed wildly as they ran to the back door and opened it to find the front room. One of the workers yelled, Ventanas! And the cameraman looked up at the windows. They no longer showed the outside, but other portions of the house. They were breathing hard, nearly hyperventilating, now. They ran through the front door and into a kitchen and through the den, all in a line when they shouldn't have been. They finally arrived to the back room, but all of the rag dolls were gone from the couch. The men off screen gasped, and the cameraman murmured, Oh my God! As the camera was about to point at what they were looking at, the phone died. I looked up from the black screen to see the door to the back room slowly shut on its own. My fingers were able to slip in just in time before the door closed. I swear I could feel the house trying to force the door closed, but I forced more. The front door was also closing on its own. By design of malicious intent, I can't say. But it was closing fast. I swear I saw a corner of my own bedroom starting to form outside before my foot kicked the door outward to the real world. Now there are no doors on my house.